Hey guys, so I was not planning on filming at all today. Um, as you know, I have been filming my little Tartlet and Bloom palette series, so I have been filming for that. I already posted one of those videos. Um, the other one, I'm in the process of editing it, and then I will be filming one more look using it, and that will all be up this week. Um, I'll link my first video below, just in case you have no idea what I'm talking about. If you hear little feet running around, those are my dogs. Louie! You gotta sit down. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that over the weekend, I just got a Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette. Um, it was out of stock for a while at Ulta, but when I went, they had like five left, so I was like, yes, give me. So I grabbed it and I got it. So since I did use it this morning, I just wanted to sit down and do a really quick little review on it for you guys. Um, just to let you know what I thought about it and yeah, that's it. So this is the palette. It's really cute. It's really little. As you can see, it's like the size of my hand. It's tiny. When my boyfriend saw it, he's like, this thing sucks. Why is it so little? And then he opened it and he goes, oh my God, but it had a lot of colors. And I was like, yeah, I know. That's why I bought it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, there's a lot of colors and it's split up like with Soft, like for you to do a soft and sweet look, for you to do a rich and creamy look, and then for you to do a PB and J look. So cute. And it smells like, I mean, I guess it's supposed to smell like peanut butter and jelly. I don't know, it just smells really sweet to me. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I don't like stuff that smells sweet. But if you like stuff that smells sweet, you'll like how this smells, so. Um, anyways, so I did sit down to do my makeup with it this morning. Did my makeup. Hey, with it today. Um, and I have to say my first impression is that I really, really, really like this palette. The colors were so pigmented. They blended out so easily. Like, I really, really, really liked it. And I love anything like earthy tone, like all those reds and like bronzy browns and like earthy toned colors. I love, and as you can see, there's quite a little number of that, of those in here. So today when I did my makeup, I used peanut butter, I used jammin, and I used bananas. Oh, and I used a little bit of peanut brittle, which, oh my God, that color is so pretty. So let me tell you about all the pros of the palette. Like I said a second ago, super blendable, super pigmented. I love the color scheme because we've got light colors, we've got dark colors, we've got like this little pop of color with jelly right here. We've got an awesome brow bone highlight. We've got an awesome all over the lid color. We've got like this nice little soft peachy color, like this pinky, which before I never was a huge fan of like those pinky eyeshadows, but now I love them. I just love how awake they make your eyes look and how like bright they make your eyes look. So I think that the palette is really good across the board. Um, my only complaint, I have two complaints with this little palette. And this is a small palette. So, you know, you can't ask for a lot. But complaint number one is that there is not a really good inner corner highlight color in this palette. There's not like a really intense bright color. The brightest color is Bananas right here. And even though it's like a gold, it's actually what I have all over my lid. So you can tell that it's bright, but it's not inner corner highlight bright. So that's the only thing that's missing from here. Personally, for me, that doesn't really bother me because I very rarely ever use eyeshadows to highlight my inner corners just because I like a very bright inner corner highlight. So when I do my inner corner highlights, I usually always use a highlighter anyways because it's super duper bright. So for me, that doesn't really bother me because even when I'm traveling, trust me, I always have highlighter with me. Always. So that doesn't really bother me too much. Thing number two about this little palette, there is not one really good transition color in here. That's the only thing. For me today, I used peanut butter as my transition color, but as you can see, I'm gonna show you a close up and like swatches of all of these um, once I'm done talking. As you can see, peanut butter is like a really brown, warm, reddish, almost like terracotta, -y. almost like terracotta-y looking shade. Um, and it's kind of dark. But for me, because again, I'm a little more olive and I'm a little bit more tan, um, my natural skin tone is a little bit darker, I'm not very fair, I was able to blend this out and use it as my transition color. But for people that are more fair, um, there's not a good transition color in here. There's not like a nice, soft, neutral transition color, 
which for me in a palette is something that I really look for. Again, I can use peanut butter and it works for me. And if you're my skin tone or a little bit darker, that should work for you. It shouldn't be a problem. But if you're more fair than I am, that is one thing that this palette is missing, a nice transition color. I love how little it is. I actually genuinely like how little it is. And then I like how many eyeshadows come in it. This comes with nine eyeshadows in this tiny little packaging. Like it's tiny. So this is awesome for traveling. This is awesome to just pop it into your purse because it's so little, which I love. Also, I really, really, really love this PB&J color right here. It's just like white, but I don't know why it is so hard to find a good creamy white color. It's like the perfect like, I don't know how to describe it except it just looks so good under your brow bone and it's super pigmented, but without looking like white out. That makes sense? Cause like, I feel like whites are always either super dull or they look like literally white out. And this one is like the perfect in between super brightening. I really, really, really like this color. Like I said before, my other favorite color in the palette as of today, cause I haven't used all the colors yet was peanut brittle. I love it. Anything that's like earthy and foiled and shimmery and like reddish looking is my best friend. I love this, so pretty. I was actually really shocked at how much I love the peanut butter and jelly palette because I had never really tried Too Faced eyeshadows. I don't have the chocolate bar palette. I am gonna get it, but the other day, when I went to Ulta, I went to go get it and there was a couple palettes that I wanted to get and then when I saw the peanut butter and jelly palette was in stock, I bought this and then I got some palettes from other companies, but I didn't want to get like all Too Faced palettes because I like to try out different things. I have never been a huge fan of Too Faced eyeshadows. I am a big fan of a lot of their other products, but their eyeshadows, I had never really tried until this past holiday season. I got this um, palette. I think it was like the Petite Chateau. I don't know, something about a chateau. I'm not sure which one it is. If they still have it in stock, I will link it below. Um, and if not, I'll just write exactly what it's called in the description box below. But I got this little palette and here I'll show it to you. And I was super excited to try out these eyeshadows because like I said before, I had never really tried um, the Too Faced eyeshadows. And honestly, I was not that crazy impressed. Like these like mauve colors here, I was super excited about these and they just didn't really do it for me. They weren't that pigmented. Um, and the same thing with Jungle Love. I was actually really excited for this Jungle Love color because it's like a deep purple but with glitter. But like, I don't know, it just came off more as black than as a deep purple. Um, the only color that I genuinely loved, loved, loved from this palette was the color Knockout, which I actually still use a lot. It's just like a really nice, um, deep, warm brown. It actually reminds me a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge, which I love that color and I use it a lot. It just has a little bit less red in it, but it's the same kind of concept. So I got this and I wasn't that crazy about the shadows, but I'm crazy about the shadows in this. I don't know if maybe because it was one of their holiday collections and they used a different formula or if it was just like a different thing. I don't know really what was going on, but these eyeshadows in the peanut butter and jelly palette are 500 times better than the ones in the holiday collection. Like I said before, I did my makeup using only this palette today. My inner corner highlight though is the highlight that I used on my face. Um, but other than that, it's all just this palette on my eyes. Okay, so here are all the swatches of the colors in the palette. The first one is Spread the Love. The second one is Peanut Butter. The third one is Peanut Butter Cup. The fourth one is Bananas. Then we have Peanut Brittle. Next is Jammin'. This white color is Extra Creamy. Then we have Jelly. And lastly, Nuts About You. In a nutshell, Love this, super excited. I was super impressed with the first time I used it. Super pigmented, super creamy. The only things that I didn't love about it is that there is not a good transition color and there's not a good inner corner highlight color. Other than that, I love it. 
If you like the look that I have on today and you're interested in seeing a tutorial on how I got this look using only the PBNJ palette, I am more than happy to do it for you guys. Just comment below and let me know or comment on my Instagram or, you know, whatever, anywhere. If you just let me know that you want to see it, I'm more than happy to do it for you. So that's it for this quick little video, this little last minute out of nowhere video. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, I'm not sure if this is in stock. I will link it below. If it's not in stock, I will like make some kind of an announcement when it does come back into stock, either on Instagram or whatever. I'm still waiting for the Morphe 350 to come back in stock. I've been checking every single day, guys, and it's not back in stock, which means that it's coming back in stock any second now. So when it does, I will announce that. I will link this below. And I think that's it guys. Anytime I do like a talking video like this, I'll write all my makeup details in the description box below so you guys know. And I'll probably post a picture of this on Instagram and write that there too, so no worries. So other than that, I think we're good. That's all I had to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and bye. I'm good. You can start. Okay. I'm not wearing the bow. I can't. It's. I can't take it. Oh, thank God, so much better.